Hello and welcome back to another Tricky Miss video. Today I am going to talk about Game Passes. Game Passes are nice to have. There are like five like essential ones that you'll definitely want. Depend or if you're just focusing on getting these ranks, just trying to like fly through them and everything. Some of these other ones like the pets, the pets are really nice to have, especially when you're trying to reach legendary takes out quite a bit of the grind like even my like current multipliers for it help out a lot but do you necessarily need the pets in the beginning not really the early stages you'll definitely want to like if you were to buy game passes the five like if you're on console and pc these are like the five that you might want to get uh, the times two skulls the times two coins the infinite soul capacity this is more for the late game because I was at Reaper rank when that was the max rank and my swings were pretty much just uh, capping out per swing and the cap for it was at like 100 lowercase q and I think I was like doing 250 lowercase q at the time and it was just getting annoying because the little menu would pop up saying hey you're like Full or uh, full on your capacity. Do you want to sell? Yes, no. And I was just getting kind of annoyed with it, so then I did end up buying the uh, infinite, inf infinite soul capacity one. So that was really nice to have. Um, the uh, fast swing is also a must, especially if you want to cut down on the uh, time that it takes to get these skulls. Like, look at this fast swing. I think it's like twice a second that you're swinging. And I'm getting 750Q per swing, which is just flying up, as you can tell. And that's really nice to have. So with those four, those four are usually just like the ones to get if you just want to go up in the thing. But there is a trick to like this newer game pass that came out a couple uh, patches ago. I believe it was when they came out with the pets. But anyway, um, the hold to click there, um, like I know mobile devices, you can get auto clickers and there's some YouTubers that do play, uh, Roblox that play simulator games and they say auto clicking isn't really so much of cheating. It's a way to like help progress in the game, especially if you're trying to do long periods of time of, uh, just grinding out these swings or grinding out whatever it is in the game um, I'm not really against auto auto clickers certain games it is nice to have an auto clicker but this one for whatever reason does not work on the mobile devices granted they do have auto clicking apps so it's not a big deal for uh, PC and console this one is really nice to have and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be part of the game, but there is like a bug with it. So uh, let's say if you're on console and you um, press right trigger, or I'm not sure if you can play on PS4 on Roblox. But anyway, we're just going to talk about the Xbox version. Uh, right trigger is to like do the swings. Before that, uh, hold to click came out. I was just constantly like spamming uh, right trigger over and over again as fast as possible and it was just getting tiresome I tried falling asleep to do it and then my console turned off and it was just annoying but once they came out with it that was like the first thing I bought I was like heck yeah let's get this bought it and all I had to do was press and hold right trigger or I could just tape the right trigger down and it would just constantly swing kind of like this it was really nice to have and everything. It really helped out a lot. I was so glad that I got it. It saved me a lot of time. It even saved my controller. Because my right trigger controller, or the right trigger on the controller was wearing down. It was getting to that point where I had to almost replace it. It's pretty bad now, but it's not as bad. So that one definitely saved the controller lifespan overall so it's really nice to have uh, PC players I would imagine having to like 
do this clicking noise that you might hear in the background would get pretty annoying so pressing and holding is really nice to have as well um, so anyway with the bug we're gonna talk about a uh, console real quick so if you're pressing and holding the right trigger and here wait let me just type this out press and hold um, let's just do RT for right trigger and then this is literally all you have to do but you don't have to type anything because console players you can't see the ch uh, chat room for whatever reason at least I never could I don't think there was an option for it there's just a few things that the uh, Roblox uh, version on Xbox where you can't see these chat rooms you can't like interact with anybody so for the longest time I didn't know what people were saying until I like uh, switched to mobile and when I finally went on to the PC but anyway then all you have to do is uh, then hit start and when you hit start it'll bring up this and um, it'll bring up like this kind of menu thing it'll have like leave at the bottom and it'll essentially uh, bug this like as you can see I'm just still uh, hitting the right trigger over and over again and for whatever reason this is what happens when you're on console it also happens when you're on uh, the PC right now I'm not clicking it I'm not doing anything if I really wanted I can like click around and click on to like different like or I can like be watching YouTube videos I can be doing other stuff but this game will just constantly be clicking over and over again or uh, would be constantly swinging and it will just be a passive uh, swing thing more or less what the um, auto clickers are like for uh, mobile devices I'm unaware if there's any auto clickers for PC at all I would imagine there is but I have like no knowledge of it so this one is really nice to have for console and PC mobile devices don't need it honestly but yeah so those are like the main five that you will definitely want to get that is if you are gonna get uh, game passes there is this one this one doesn't really uh, help you out too much with uh, the progression for ranks granted you um, might need it to get these auras because they do uh, get pretty expensive especially this one this one was 250 million this one was 89 million uh, this one was 25 million uh, I forget what this one was it was maybe like 5 million or something but you can easily grind that out with the boss the boss spawns back every uh, 10 minutes when you kill it and it is based off of damage of how much damage you do so it might be nice to get this and get the uh, multipliers from the auras but are they necessarily needed uh, not really but it is nice to have but overall those are like the five main ones to help you progress through all the ranks in the game it's granted I am more of a completionist I did buy all of them uh, the pets you might want to get later on that's for a future investment especially if you're trying to get this legendary rank you would definitely need them along with these uh, boosts mainly the times five coins and the auto train auto sell you don't really need to worry about uh, times five shards is really nice to get you can get that in this uh, free-for-all which um, let's just go ahead and click yes on it uh, Jack is going to be hopping in with us into this free-for-all thing and he is just going to let me uh, kill him real quick so he's going to go into a corner there he is and I'm just going to go ahead and go up to him and just swing him or uh, swing a few times at him and we'll get a, a booster.
So we got a five minute uh, times five uh, shards booster. Really nice to get, especially if you uh, get flags or sit on the purple circle in the public public servers. Which, by the way, console can't access VIP servers or anything like that. They're, um, they can only play on public servers. But PC, of course, and mobile, of course, you can play on VIP servers. So if you get this booster, you can go ahead and just grab all the flags and just get a lot of uh, shards every 30 seconds. It used to be a minute, but you you get just amount or the same amount that you did per minute for every 30 seconds. It's really nice. And with my uh, multipliers, uh, it is quite high of what I get. I believe per flag, I'm probably going to get like 35... Uh, million per flag and there's seven but as I was saying you do get quite a bit of uh, shards from doing this or getting that boost like you seen right there uh, that was 4.1 uh, million and each flag uh, if you take that like standard thing and you times it by 10 that's how much you're getting per flag so I'm getting 41 million per flag with this boost on it's really nice. Definitely worth uh, doing the free-for-all arena fights. You win some, you lose some. But when you do win some, it is beneficial to have. But progression-wise, uh, do you need the game pass for times 2 shards? Maybe to get the auras, but not really needed. The 4 primary is the times 2 coins, times 2 skulls fast swings so it doesn't take as long to get these skull amounts and then the uh, infinite soul capacity so you can just constantly be farming without having to worry about to uh, run to the cell area constantly and that's pretty much it for this video um like i said you might want to invest in these pets especially if you're trying to get this legendary rank uh, you will need them, especially with these high multipliers. Early ranks, you don't really need it as well. But I know you do just fly right through the early ranks with just the pe uh, beginner pets. So it's really nice. But yeah, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.